Welcome back to The Sim. So I got asked a question about how uh, to repurpose a radio knob to control the G1000 FMS. Now, if you got lots of buttons and switches, you kind of don't always necessarily come up with these ideas on your own. So it's great to get this feedback in the comments. And what's really actually awesome is that person already figured out how to do it, but it was still a great idea for a short video. So let's go ahead, jump inside and see how to do it. Looking at the PFD here in the G1000 NXI, we can see that, of course, this knob, which we interact with a lot, is the FMS knob. And when we go into SPAD next, we're going to leverage the radio panel and we're going to go ahead and use a DME page since, well, the DME page doesn't really have anything assigned to the knobs. So here I've got my radio panel selected and I'm going to use the bottom selector DME page. Uh, now obviously it might be easy to use the top one uh, for the PFD, bottom one for the MFD. I don't have to do anything with the displays. This is great. They can still give us DME information, but what we want when we're interacting with the FMS knob, we can remap the buttons here. Let's go ahead and we're going to add an event and we're going to come down to our outer clockwise and we're going to go ahead add an event send simulation event and remember these are considered Microsoft uh, 2020 events and what you also want to remember there is at least version 2.1 of the SPAD bridge uh, which I will link. All of these events are going to be found as AS1000 events. And if we add the underscore and go PFD, then obviously it will filter it. So we know this is going to be the FMS. So there you go. So they use lower and upper um, for the knob names. What helps you know that upper is the inner knob or the skinny knob uh, is the fact that the push is tied to it. And these are the names of the actual events. This isn't SPAD renaming these, right? This is a effectively the H event string, just missing H colon since it is an HTML event. So we're doing the outer knob, so we want lower increase for clockwise. Add an event. Let's go outer counterclockwise. Add action, send simulation event. We're going to decrease, add event, and let's do the inner clockwise. So now you've got the upper increase, inner counterclockwise, the upper decrease. So we're going to go press long and we're going to go with the upper push. So that will be the cursor if we hold it for longer than a second. And then for the short press, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the FMS or the PFD enter push. That will make our life easier. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to publish this device. So basically, we're going to call this the Microsoft Flight Sim Working Title G1000 NXI Radio Panel FMS PFD. So this builds off of all my other uh, radio panels that we already had, that we've already published. Um, so I didn't change any of that. So let's go ahead and complete device, all aircrafts, submit. If you've seen the other videos, the advanced radio panel, this is basically it, um, all of the things that we've done. But uh, if I download this, I've now got this done. Obviously, pretty easy to do oneself. So let's go ahead, hop in, and see just like what we can do. So if I come in now and I click on that direct two, so there we go, we've got our own knobs. We're gonna move over. C Y 
So there we go. We want to go to carp and we've got that button pushed now for the enter and enter to activate. Oh boy, that is pretty cool. We wanted to keep this one short and focused on how do we make the radio panel control the FMS knob on the PFD. All right, guys, as always, if you've got some ideas, you have some things, some questions, drop them in the comments and hit us up in the SPAD Discord as well if you're looking for some other help or clarification. Always a lot easier to do that back and forth in the Discord uh, as opposed to try to um, do a lot of helping in the comments, but we'll do our best anyway. If you haven't, go ahead, hit that like button, subscribe, and come along with us next time. We're going to be doing some other cool things with the NXI and probably Stream Deck. Anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.